Hi everyone, so welcome to another episode of Tip of the Week. And this week what I'd like to do is I'd like to just do a really quick Tip of the Week about emailing projects um, from one person's computer to another person's computer because this comes up sometimes on the forums um, about how you can send a project file. Um, and I'm recording this one from California, sunny, beautiful California this week. So let's just take a look now. I'm just not actually going to open up the software. I'm going to go into my file system. And I'm working here today on a Mac, uh, but the same concept would be true if you're working on a Windows machine. So what happens is when you save a project, that project, for example, this is a Storyboard Pro project. If I go inside that project, it has many different subfolders and it has some different um, information is here as well, like my storyboard file is the .sboard file. And sometimes what happens is when people try to send projects to each other, they, they send just the .anim or just the .sboard or just the .stage or .xstage if you're working with Harmony. And when you do that, you will not actually be sending your whole project because when you're looking at this sboard file or this anim file, what this file does is this particular file saves things like the timing information, it saves um, you know, all, all of the stuff that puts together your project, but all the media is saved in these other folders. So for example, my elements folder will contain my drawings that I'm going to be using, and my frames folder will contain any rendered frames that I render out, and then there's some various different information about the structure of your project that can be contained in some of these other ones. And then, of course, we have our palette um, library, which will contain the different palettes that are in my file. So I think it's kind of important to understand a little bit of what's in these folders, because sometimes you might just want to email someone a palette. So you can go in here and you can select your PLT file and you can email that person that file and then they can select that file when they want to import it back into another project. Um, but the palette file is one of the only things that I would really recommend going in here for. The only other thing to be aware of is if you have rendered out frames of your project, you might not want to include those rendered frames when you email a project because the rendered frames can get quite heavy. If you have in this case I'm looking at a storyboard project, but let's say if you're looking at an animation project and you've rendered out a thousand frames, that's going to make your file really heavy for email, so you, you wouldn't be able to email it. Um, you, uh, would just, you might have to upload it to an FTP site, but even if you're doing something like that, it's going to make your life easier if you just um, clear out your frames folder for a project that you're going to email. Um, so in this case, I don't have anything in my frames folder because I never rendered anything out. What happens is that when you do your file export movie or your file export frames um, or your export render network, if you're talking about Animate um, Pro or Harmony standalone, then um, it will stick those in this folder by default. You may have it going somewhere else, but this is where it goes by default when you render your frames. So it's just important to realize that because Often, if you delete the frames that are in here, or if you move them somewhere else, if you still need to have them, then the project size of the rest of your project will often be small enough to actually email. Because uh, vector drawing files are quite light, so as long as you're just using vector regular TVG files in your drawings, then usually they're pretty light. Look at these drawings, they're like 4K, 8K. When you start adding textures to your drawings, or like if you're using a textured brush, or if you're importing in images into your drawing layers, then these files will be larger. But when you're working with just your standard um, drawing tools and your standard vector tools, your TVG files are pretty small. And TVG, by the way, stands for Toon Boom Vector Graphic. And each one of our products uses a similar type of TVG file, but they're um, sometimes incompatible, so just be aware of that. So. All of this to say that when you're trying to send a project to somebody, before you go ahead and, and try to send it, I'd go ahead and verify that there's nothing in your frames folder. That's a good thing to do. And um, then if after that you've got nothing in there, now you can go back out to the next level up and you can find that project folder, but you won't be able to email this folder directly because 
in an email you need to have just one file. You can't email a series of files or a folder that contains files. So the only thing you need to do is you need to zip this file. So in this case I can on a Mac I can right click and I can go to compress and then it's going to compress that down into a zip file. If you're working on a Windows there is also in your right click it might say something like add to archive it really depends on which zip program you have installed whether you're using WinZip, uh, 7-Zip, uh, WinRAR, you might want to create a RAR file out of this. Um, basically anything that's going to compress your folder down into one file. And now if I look at this file, now this is a very light file, but if I look at it, this is only 942 kilobytes. That's small enough for me to email. So I can go ahead and email this on a regular email. Most email programs will take up until 8 or 10 megabytes. So as long as your project file is smaller than that, you can email it. Um, now, if your project file tends to be larger than that, then you will have to find a, um, a way of getting that project to whoever you're trying to send it to that's not an email. And there are several different ways of doing that. Um, you know, you can either, if you have your own FTP set up, you can do that. You can use some of these file share programs, like there's Mediafire, um, Rapid Share. you know, there's a bunch of different free programs available out there to help you send larger files. Um, so that's that. Now let's just take a look at um, a quick scene here from Animate Pro just to show you how similar this is. So if I look inside Animate Profiles or Animate Files, they'll both have an Anim extension. And by the way, I had somebody ask me recently about what this little tilde on the end means. And these files that have tildes on the end of them are backup files. Are, that are basically copies of your original Anim file. And um, so what, what the reason that we do this is that sometimes you might have a crash um, that somehow makes it irretrievable to open your project. And in that case, you can retrieve your project by renaming this file and removing the tilde. You'll have to change the name of the original one first. But then if you rename and remove the tilde, that's going to then allow you to open this file directly. So just have that in mind in case you ever have a crash. That's another way of trying to open your project file. Um, and then in here we also have a frames folder and I don't have anything in it but you want to make sure that you don't have anything in your uh, frames folder when you're emailing things. And things like drawings will go inside your element folder and palettes will go in there as well. And then you've got your palette library that has all of your palettes in it for the scene. So um, that is just very similar to what I showed you with the Storyboard Pro one. Now if I take a, a look at this Animate Profile, I can do the same thing. I can right click and I can hit Compress. And now I can email this file. This one really doesn't have anything in it, but um, I can email this file so long as it's less than about 10 megabytes. And um, so then if, you, if it's larger than 10 megabytes, then you can go ahead and try and find um, some kind of other program that will allow you to send files over the internet that are larger than that. So that's the tip of the week for this week. I know it's really short and sweet um, just to give you an overview of how to email projects. I want to do um, some more in-depth tip of the weeks coming up soon. I'd like to talk to you guys about saving character templates and emailing character templates as well. But I didn't want to start opening that can of worms today yet because when we talk about character templates, I also want to talk to you about the difference between master templates and action templates and props and backgrounds and sound files. So there's a lot of things to talk about there. So I'll leave that for next week. We'll leave this tip of the week very short and sweet. And I will see you guys next week. Take care.